All right, I just want to remind you of how we're loading the ships here. Um, you can see we've got a broken link right here, a broken formula. I've told you this a couple of times, but I just want to show you. Uh, immediately, you come down here to a number of yards of cloth. If you want everybody to have an extra pair of pants and an extra shirt, or at least enough cloth to make that, you need 250 yards on each ship. You can make that bigger. You can make that smaller. But then what you see is the adjustment of weight. You've lost 50 pounds here. As you look at the food and the weapons and the animals, you can see we've already done some of the weights for you, the water, the food, it's all going to be in barrels and the barrels weigh 50 pounds. So don't mess with those formulas. If you want to take 50 barrels of water, you put a 50 in there. If you want to, you have to specify what food you want. So let's say oats. And you want to take two barrels of oats. Now you've got 100 pounds of oats. Whatever food you want, you have to name it. You have to put how many barrels you want to put in here. Gunpowder, that's also in barrels. How many barrels of gunpowder do you want? Four. How many barrels of lead do you want? Four. But muskets each weigh 10 pounds. So how many muskets do you want to take? I want to take 20. And I want to take one cannon. And then any other weapons you want, you have to type in the name of the weapon, how many you want, and then you have to ask us how much each of those weapons weigh. That's the same thing down here in tools that people have been messing up as they load. You put in, if you have nails, you ought to have a hammer. How much does a hammer weigh, Mr. Cruz? Hammer weighs two pounds. Well, I want everybody on my ship to have one. And that formula is broken uh, on this sheet. It isn't on yours. I'll have to fix it. Uh, that should be F37. And then we'll copy that. And paste it. Now all those formulas are right. I want to take a saw, Mr. Cruz. What kind of saw? A two-man saw for cutting down trees. Oh, well that is 10 pounds. We want to take five of those. And every time it's going to calculate your weight for you and it's going to subtract it from the total so that you can see exactly how much you have left. This number can never be negative, but get it as close to zero as you possibly can without going into the negatives. All right. Thanks.